everybody it is May and that means it's time for my April this is weird video if you've never seen this series before weird is an acronym wearing eating, impressed by, reading, downloading, and doing. I'll start off with wearing. This is not what I was going to say, but I want to throw this in here, a little additional what I've been wearing, and this is a cheese ball comment. But confidence. Genuinely, I've been feeling great about myself, and that's such a good feeling, okay? Like, someone even tweeted to me. That I can tell by your tweets that you've been experiencing more self-love than usual, or something along the lines of that. And like, if a stranger can notice that through my tweets, then it must be that obvious. I'm beaming, at least that's how I feel, like a little bit. I wanna make a video how to get out of a rut, some sort of confidence booster video, because when someone's confident, it seems so effortless, but when you're not confident, it seems like a near to impossible task to achieve. And I think that I have some good tips and things that might help and be beneficial to you guys. So if you wanna see a video like that, the video that's going up on Friday is a fashion and art haul, and then I think on Tuesday I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day, but maybe next Friday I can upload that if anyone's interested. The real what I've been wearing though is outerwear, and I live in Los Angeles, and it's May, but it's desert climate. It does actually get cold at night, okay? It gets really cold. So I have tons of outerwear, and I've thrifted most of it. I went to Nashville, Tennessee earlier this month, and I got so much outerwear. I got this awesome rainbow NASCAR jacket, but it's really cool. This camouflage US Army jacket that's actually like US Army military jacket. It even has someone's last name on it. It says Howell, and it's got a patch on the side. I always wear this faux fur coat out when I have an opportunity to do it because it's fantastic. I borderline like wanna put it on now. I've got this great scuba material coat from Nasty Gal. I'm gonna take this off, like no. If you like to experiment with outerwear, I highly recommend going to thrift stores. You don't need to be good at thrifting to get good outerwear pieces. The beauty about shopping for outerwear is that you can really be flexible with sizing. Like I could do anything from like an extra small to an extra large and make it work. The next thing is what I've been eating and I have been eating a higher fat diet. If you are like me and you're involved in the vegan YouTube community, you know a lot of the people push a high carb, low fat vegan diet. I know when I first found out about the vegan diet, that is what I went to, that's what I ate. I was just getting lessons on what I thought was healthy and that is healthy. It's a really, really healthy diet and it's great if you wanna cure your type two diabetes, if you wanna cure your lupus, if you wanna cure your eating disorder. But I didn't come from a past of any sort of illness, mental or physical. There's so much food that I have to eat and that's a really awesome thing for some people because some people really want a higher volume of food. They would rather eat more of a lower calorie food than less of a higher calorie food. But there were so many days that I felt like I spent such a large portion, a larger portion than I guess I desired of my day eating. And I think it wasn't until I was stuck in traffic one day and I stopped at a coffee shop and I got a Kind Bar that I realized, wow, that little Kind Bar, because it was made of like a bunch of nuts and seeds, it kept me full for a few hours and I didn't have to eat anything and that's great because I feel like a lot of times I'm just consistently just eating throughout the day and that sucks. It's like I wanna get on with my life. I know some of you guys are gonna be on the complete opposite end of the spectrum and you're like, what? You don't wanna eat more food? But sometimes I don't. Like sometimes I, I would rather do something else with my life than eat. I just wanted to bring that up in case anyone was in a similar situation and you're like, I don't wanna eat all this food. The third thing is the I and it's what I've been impressed by or shall I say who I've been impressed by. Two guys, Blaze Brooks, Luca Fresco. They're not like a duo, I just met them together at Playlist Live. Damn, feels like that was so, feels kind of far away, but at the same time, it feels super recent. P.S., great meeting everyone at Playlist Live. If you met Luca or Blaze, you were in for a treat because they're currently like two of my favorite people and I'm obsessed. First of all, Blaze, I can't say enough positive things about him. I was so happy I met him. Artist, fantastic, talented. He's on Instagram, he's on Twitter. I'll link it down in the description box. He's also hilarious, such a goofball, great friend. 10 out of 10. And then Luca Fersco, oh my god. He is a trailblazer for Mel's fashion on YouTube. He makes short films, those are my personal fave. Went to his channel. Do you ever check out someone's channel and you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know I was doing YouTube wrong until now and I'd like to delete all of my videos and start fresh again. 
That's how I felt. I'm a little jealous that he's a new YouTuber, so he has a completely free, raw image. I've been on YouTube for so many years, so there's so many phases of my life that are just documented that I just still have up. His content is the type of stuff that I want to see more on YouTube. Not that I want to see more Luca First goes on YouTube, like there's already one, but just it's very original. It's not made to fit the YouTube mold. It's just good quality content, and I respect that. That, that creativity and that not so just like cheesy, mindless, in your face, like stupid shit. Like he, I, I think that what he does is great and there should be more of it. And I'm a fan, so you should be too. So go subscribe. I'll have their information in the description box. R is for what I've been reading. I've been reading The Four Agreements, but I wanna talk about my online class. That's something else I've been reading or having to do reading for. I'm taking a how to reason and argue class. I'm doing online classes at Duke University online class. I won't, I'm only doing one right now and I'm not even trying to necessarily get a degree. I don't know how much you guys have followed me. Maybe this is your first video you've ever seen from me, but I lived in Virginia and I graduated from high school and I came out to Los Angeles and I didn't go to college in between and something that has been bugging me for quite a long time is just my lack of any sort of intellectual stimulation from just alternative areas besides marketing, business, online, entertainment, film. I feel like I just get a lot of that on the day-to-day -day basis and a lot of other things are just left un unheard of and untouched in my mind. So I read a lot and I finally decided like let me just enroll. So I'm taking one class and it's been really great. It's, it's not overwhelming. I'm doing really well in it and it's making learning fun. And I like learning. I just don't know if college is necessarily for me. But right now, this is what I want and this is what I'm doing and I'm enjoying it. D, downloading. Go download Snapchat if you don't already have it and hit me with that follow. You are missing out if you're not following me on Snapchat. That is my favorite social media right now next to Twitter. My stories are top of the line, amazing. Don't know, I'll give you some examples right here. Now if that's not gold, then you are blind, my friend. I'm gonna leave you with that. The final D, what I've been doing. So I mentioned to you briefly that I went to a thrift store in Nashville, so that means that I had to be in Nashville, and I went to Nashville, Tennessee. Earlier this month, I went go-karting, I went to the Honky Tonk Strip. Not a country girl, so like being in Nashville, I was like, what am I doing? But it was fun. I made friends with my Airbnb guy. Finley and I did something that we've never done before, and that is stay in Airbnbs, which if you want a discount on your first one, I have a coupon in the description box. But we stayed in four different locations for each of the nights. It was nice to get to know different neighborhoods throughout the duration of our trip. So that was fun and it was awesome getting to spend time with Finley. Second thing I did was Playlist Live. That was such a fun weekend. I needed it in my life so badly. Like, I really, really enjoyed myself. Third thing happened yesterday. I went to Veg Fest, and I'd like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Vegan for inviting me to be a part of the festival. I loved meeting subscribers. I loved meeting so many other like-minded individuals and activists. I don't think I've spent enough time in my life around activists, just people who are trying so hard to do the right thing. It's just not the mainstream thing, and I think that's the biggest lesson I got out of Veg Fest was just the right thing is not the popular thing. And that's something that I haven't heard since a parent was telling me that, you know, going into elementary or middle school. You know, kid, always do the right thing. And the right thing is not always the popular thing. And I'm learning that is so much more relevant now that I'm older. A lot of us are just blind sheep walking in the way that we think we're supposed to. And being around that community yesterday reminded me that there's you know, this planet is, <laughs> we're not in a good state right now, and I know that there are things that need to change, and rather than just being like I have been and knowing that and identifying that, like I need to start hanging out with people who are trying to make a difference in that, and that's something I want to start, like I should add like activists onto my Instagram bio and start helping out with things like that. So I met people who are doing everything from promoting, voting for Bernie Sanders, to deforestation, to saving the chimps, to veganism, anarchists, a whole bunch of people. It was really cool. And if you live in Los Angeles or if you'll be in Los Angeles around this time next year, I highly recommend you come. And that is all I have for this video. If you want to get in contact with me, Twitter and and uh, the comments of the videos are always the easiest way to get in contact with me. And I will see you guys later. Yeah.